Today we're installing Garlic OS on the RG35X. Let's get into it. What's up CeeLo Pixel Gamers? I really appreciate all the views and support, the great comments that I've seen on this channel, and I had a couple of questions about how you could install Garlic OS on the RG35X. So that's what today's video is about. If you haven't seen my review on this wonderful budget handheld console, click on this link above. Also, it's close cousin to my U Mini. So if you want to check out that one, click on this link above here. Garlic OS is meant to improve the performance and also the visual cues of the RG35X, making it more on par with the my U Mini stock OS. So, without further ado, let's get started with the first method. So the first method is a fresh install. What you're going to need is an SD card. I recommend 16 gigabytes or more. 8 gigabytes is going to be a little short when you're adding games. So get a 16 gigabyte or more. Okay, so the first step for this method is you want to go, to go ahead and back up your stock SD card. It comes with a 64 gigabyte or more SD card and you want to take this SD card, plug it into your laptop or computer and make sure you copy all of the BIOS system and also all the ROM files for all the games onto a hard drive or your own home storage. Okay, so the next step is you want to download all the necessary files. I will leave a link in the description where you can click and download Garlic OS. Also, I will give you the name for the ROM pack that we're going to use, although I cannot leave the link in the description for that. I'm just using those for demonstration of how to add games in this video. When you're downloading your files, you want to go to this website here, and I will leave the link in the description. So first thing you're going to do, if you don't already have 7-Zip installed, I uh, would we'll open that in a new tab and I'll show you what that looks like. Go ahead and download whichever one for your system and then you will scroll down to the bottom. Once you get close to the bottom of the page, you'll notice that there are four files here. And for this tutorial, we're going to download all four. The ones that say copy, paste on top of stock is if you want to copy garlic os right on top of the stock os the other ones are for a fresh install so let's go ahead and download those okay one other software you will need is a burner to write the image to the micro sd card so you can go to sourceforge.net and go to win 32 disk imager or you can go to the official win 32 disk imager website so whichever website between the two works for you that's the one you choose okay the next site i want to talk about is tiny best set go garlic plus onion and what this is is files that would improve your new installation of garlic or onion os in this case we're doing garlic so what you're going to do is go ahead and download the files necessary from here the website is here on the screen and what this will allow you to do is get cores and a few games for your fresh install. The installation directions are right here, but I'll just go through the demonstration as we go through this too. In this section, it explains which files to download if you have a 32 gigabyte or smaller card, 64 gigabyte cards, or 128 gigabyte cards. And eight gigabytes is definitely too small. So I would recommend 16 gigabytes or higher for this install. Once you've downloaded all the files, your folder should look something like this. You have your seven zip here. All you gotta do is double click and install. Same thing with the Win32 disk imager. And the only thing you need seven zip for is to unzip these files so you can get in them. Next up, you have your copy and paste mod here and then your fresh micro SD install. Then you have your tiny best set go games. You have your images for garlic and onion, and this is so that they have actually have overlay and images so you know what game you're playing. So this is everything we need to get our 
installation of garlic going. Once you downloaded the necessary files and have backed up the original SD, you want to go ahead and pop your new SD into the computer. So the third step is, once you've downloaded the ISO file, you have to extract it with 7-zip. Okay, so once you right click on the archive, you can go here to 7-zip and open archive. Now, once you open it, you're gonna see the image in here. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and drag and drop this in my same folder and just wait. All right, once this pop-up com comes up, you'll see that it is actually extracting the image over here into your folder. Okay, now here is the image of Garlic OS, but in order to make this work, we're gonna have to burn this onto the micro SD. Okay, now I'm about to pop in the SD card. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, and one thing you'll notice here is that the um, the micro SD card is already formatted, but if you haven't done so, you can right click and you click on format. And I have basically a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card in and you just hit start and label it whatever you want. I label mine garlic OS. So uh, with that being said, now we're ready to burn our fresh image of garlic on here. So what we have to do, uh, you can right click and you can open with, you can try win 32 disc imager or you can drag and drop it literally on the install. So here's what we're gonna do. The next step is once you have the ISO file extracted, you have to burn it with an image writer. I'm gonna use Win32 Disk Imager in this video and I'll leave a link in the description below. What I did, once you install Win32 Disk Imager, um, you will be able to select the starting icon to open this software up, okay? So once you have this here, only thing you gotta do now is choose your image file. So you click on the folder and then you want to choose which is RG35X mod for me, and there is the image. So you're gonna hit open. Now you wanna make sure that your device is labeled correctly, and here the uh, drive letter assigned is D, and you wanna make sure it's D here. Then you wanna go ahead. Okay, so while this Garlic OS is written to the SD card, I'm gonna pause the video until the end. When you finish formatting, you might get a few pop-ups. This is only because there are several partitions and you do not want to format them. You just leave it as is and hit cancel. And as you can see, now we have um, SDHCD, E, F, G. And also here we have some, and these are the partitions it needs to work. And if you notice here, we have BIOS, we have CFW and we have ROMs. So. At this point, will be a good time to pop the SD card out, put it into the RG35X, and see if it can boot. All right, and we have Garlic OS on the screen. We have successfully installed Garlic OS. Let's navigate around to see what we have. We have the recent section, favorite section, consoles, and RetroArch. When we hit the menu button, you can go into a previously uh, played game. So now, if we hit B to go back, you're in the basic software. So the next step, and I'll show you go ahead right here, is what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop uh, a tiny best set go ROM set with the images. And what this allow you to do, and I'll show you real quick, let's go to Nintendo. As you can see, you have the box art to the left, and then when you scroll down, you can actually see uh, what game you're playing, everything is labeled, and you have a ROM set that you can start playing with the system. Once you burn the image, all you gotta do is pop in your SD and you got Garlic OS. Now, wasn't that easy? Now, this last step is optional. There is a ROM set that is actually a good starter with the Garlic OS, and what we're gonna do is drag and drop those files right onto the brand new SD card that we burned.
Okay, once you click on the link in the description, it will take you to this archive, which is the Tiny Best Set Go. And they have it for both Mayu Mini and the RG35X Garlic and Onion. And on this page, you will find the files that you need in order to add the games and the images. And it tells you what size and set to download. So we have a 32 gigabyte SD card. So we're going to use the smaller uh, image set. So you're going to download the one that says tiny best set go games dot zip. Okay, once you've downloaded the set, you want to double click on it and open it up in your extractor. You have a BIOS folder and a ROMs folder. So basically you're going to take these two folders and drag and drop them onto your SD. Let me show you how that works. Okay. Once you pop your modded SD card into the computer, you might get a few pop-ups to ask you to format. Just ignore that. Close those windows out. So you take these folders and you just drag and drop. And that's all you need to do to add your games. All right. Okay. So once you drag and drop those, the next thing you want to do is go into your tiny best set go images for garlic. You're going to double click that. And I will drag and drop it up here so you can see it. And then you're going to see two folders, your CFW folder and your ROM. I'm going to go back to your SD card and find the SDHCG and you'll see several folders, the CFW and the ROM. You just grab these and drag and drop. I'm not going to drop these on mine because I've already done it. But once you do it, you'll have those nice images and all those games to play. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, now we're back into the garlic OS and some other things I didn't go over. If you can uh, have different features. If you just hit the back button, hit the back button, hit the select button or the start button. And then you have your calendar and other features here, language and what it's set to. You can also press B to go back, but let's go into the consoles. In the 32 gigabyte or lower set, you have arcade, Atari, Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. You also have some Game Gear, Sega Genesis. On the next page, you have your SG-1000, your CPS Arcade, TurboGrafx-16, and Super Nintendo. So let's click on Super Nintendo real quick. And as you can see, starting from the A's, you have your listings and then also the pictures that go with it. So let's just click one, one of the games so you can actually see what we're working with let's try hero fighters we're going to press a and give it a minute to load and we're into the game so this is everything you need to install a fresh image of garlic os and then also add some games so now let's transition into the last part of the video hopefully that wasn't too hard and now you have an official copy of garlic os so hopefully the steps were easy to understand and straightforward. If you need assistance or more help with the installation, just leave a question in the comment section below. If you learned something new or enjoyed the video, please definitely share this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you would like to support the channel, there are support links in the description below if you enjoyed this video. Also, any files that were used in this video will be in the description below. All right, stay tuned in for more videos. I'll see you soon, and guys, I gotta get to some gaming. Peace.